reasoning about the concepts of until one to one is difficult because you have to start the arguments in the codomain, not in the domain, and then look back. It requires some examples to get a feeling for these rather abstract concepts. So let us take a look at two explicit small examples in this video. So first we take a transformation t from R2 to R3. T of a vector in R R2, x1, x2, is this vector over here, 2x1, x1 minus x2, and 0. Uh, first let's see whether this transformation is one to one or not. Well, uh, we will try to find, can we find two vectors in R2, different vectors, such as tu equals tv. If you are able to find different vectors mapping to the same point, then our transformation is not one to one. And if we are not able to find different vectors mapping to the same point, our transformation is one to one. So we start with two different vectors and try uh, to map them to the same point and see whether we can succeed uh, taking different vectors. So we take a u arbitrarily, a v arbitrarily, and we'll try to uh, see whether if we have tu equals tv, what happens then? Well, how do we find tu? Just plug it in in the uh, formula over here. That gives you the tu, 2u1, u1 minus u2, 0, and the t of v, uh, similarly, of course. Now we set tu equals tv and see whether what happens, whether can we can still find different u's and v's. So tu equals tv. So what do we see? Well, those vectors are only equal if all three components are equal. Well, last component is fine, of course, 0 equals 0. And then the first component gives us 2u1 to be equal to 2v1. Okay? And the second component will give us u1 minus u2 to be equal to v1 minus v2. But if you look first at the first component, you see 2u1 equals 2v1, so u1 has to be equal to v1. And if you substitute that then in the second component, you will get, uh, uh, because u1 is already equal to v1, uh, that u2 also has to be equal to v2. So u1 equals v1, u2 equals v2, so the factor u equals v. So if you have tu equals tv, so two vectors mapping to the same point, and actually they were the same, you cannot have different vectors mapping to the same point. So uh, uh, if tu equals tv, then u has to be equal to v. So this transformation is one to one. And what about on two? Can we reach any vector in R3? So transformation is uh, on two if you can reach any vector in the codomain. Well, take for example this vector v equals 0, 0, 1. You see that any uh, image of any vector has its last component zero. So you will never be able to reach a vector with a non-zero last component. So, for example, v. So you won't be able to reach v or 0, 0, 2 or 1, 0, 1 or uh, any vector with a non-zero last component. You cannot reach it. So that means you cannot reach all vectors in the uh, codomain, which means that the transformation t is not on two. Now, second example, uh, familiar one, t from p2 to p1, and you find the image by taking just a derivative of p. Well, you can easily see that this transformation is not one-to-one, -one because if you take, for example, the function 1 plus t and the function 2 plus t, they both have derivative 1, so the image of 1 plus t and the image of 2 plus t is 1, so you have two different polynomials mapping to the same point. So that's not possible if your transformation is one-to-one. -one. So this transformation is not one-to-one. -one. Different points in the domain mapping to the same point in the codomain, not one-to-one. -one. Now, question about on two. So can we reach any Q in P1? Can we reach any Q in the codomain? Well, if Q is in P1, then we know it's a linear polynomial, so you can write this capital A plus B, capital B times T. And can we reach that one. So can we find the p such that the image of p equals q? Well, the image of p equals p prime, so p prime has to be equal to q. Well, uh, we can find this p, it's taking the antiderivative of q. Uh, if we take p of t equals a, a times t plus one half p times t squared, uh, then the image of this p is exactly our q. This p is in p2, so it is in the domain, the image of this p is equals p prime equals a plus p times c equals q. So we can do this for any q, so we can reach any 
uh, Q in P1. So this T is on 2. Now, from these examples, you might get the wrong impression that you are either 1 to 1 or on 2. That's not necessarily the case. A transformation can be 1 to 1 and on 2, or a transformation can be 1 to 1 and not on 2, or a transformation can be not 1 to 1 but on 2. We saw those, those two uh, in the examples over here. Or a transformation can be neither uh, 1 to 1 or, uh, or on 2. Well, we have so we have four cases. You saw examples of cases 2 and 3 in this video, and try to come up with an, of an example of the first and the last case yourself.